In this week's video, we're gonna be talking about this. This is the Tesla CCS Combo 2 adapter for use with Tesla Model S and X vehicles only. Not the catchiest of uh, names for something, but I guess it does what it says on the tin. So if you've got an S or an, the, uh, S or an X, your charging socket will look like, your charging plug will look like this. This is a modified Type 2. However, the standard now for fast charging has moved on. It's now CCS, which is that end. So how this works is you plug the, take the pump, attach that, plug this in the car, and you, it gives you a lot more options for charging. Now to complicate things slightly, if your S or X was built after about March 2019, uh, then you just need to buy the adapter. So the adapter is about 45 pounds, but check, check with Tesla, double check that your car only needs the adapter. So that's for cars from March approximately 2019 onwards. My car was built in February 2019. So my car <laughs> needs some extra wiring. So that costs 280 pounds down from 415 pounds. Uh, they do some wiring under the back seat. And then this is included and you can use this. So interestingly, the reason I've got this is because when I go and see my dad in London is I quite often stop at South Mims on the way home, back up north. I like South Mims, there's lots there. However, it's a bit of a pain to get in and out and sometimes it can be quite busy at South Mims. Just up the A1 at St. Neots, uh, Y Boston it's called, they've, uh, Tesla have installed 12 brand new superchargers. So these are V3 superchargers, which is amazing for me. I can bypass South Mims and stop farther up. However, they are just CCS only, which I find hard to believe. And if you can explain this to me, please do in the comments. I'm really keen to hear your, and also your opinions on this, and also if you know the answer. So I spoke to Tesla and Milton Keynes when I had this fitted. Uh, and they said generally with Tesla is down to either cost of installation or it's down to actual um, ease of mass producing an item. Which I kind of get, but have Tesla kind of forgot about their S and their X when they're putting in these new version three superchargers? How hard is it? All the, all the V2s were retrofitted with a CCS adapter. So surely it's not that expensive to continue to build these with two connections one for the S and the X, one for the three and the Y and onwards. So if you know the answer, let me know. Uh, anyway, I don't want to go on too much. So I had this fitted in Milton Keynes. Uh, his parting words with me are, you're not going to try and use it on the way home, are you? Uh, which I was, and I, <laughs> but he said, oh, you'll need to wait another hour while we upgrade the software in your car, or you can do it overnight and it'll be fine tomorrow. Thankfully, I had enough charge to get home, so I did it overnight. So I'm going to take this to a Tesla, V3 supercharger. I'm going to go to um, Ionity. I'm only doing that because it's so expensive. Uh, I'm going to try um, Instavolt, my second favourite after Tesla, and also uh, Genie Point, who are my arch enemy. I would also like to add that I've got a massive chest infection and I'm off my boobs on um, Pregnisolone. This will become apparent in the video <laughs> because um, things didn't go quite to plan and my Ionity charge cost me a lot of money. Anyway, let's get cracking. So I've arrived at Y Boston V3 superchargers. First time, obviously on a V3 supercharger because you can't charge on type two. I've got this. Let's see if it works. So I've had an interesting experience to start with. So as a family, we're deciding if we want a dog. So we've borrowed a dog. There's a website called Borrow My Doggy. I didn't even know it existed. So we've borrowed this dog and we've got out of the car and I said, like, I need to do some filming. Can you just take the dog for a walk around the area? A man comes racing up to us in a golf cart and says the whole estate is private and is strictly no dogs. He said, if you're charging your Tesla here and you've got a dog, the dog needs to stay in the car for the whole time your car's charging. So I can see that being an issue if you're on a long journey because quite often 
you stop for a break and a charge and if you've got a dog um as we have for today <laughs> um what do you do with your dog you just leave it in the car while it's charging with dog mode on you can't take the dog out and exercise it so what do you do so if you've charged here before i'm keen to know your thoughts uh and if you've got a dog a full-time dog what would you do anyway let's have a look around here we are so there's 12 shiny brand new stools here and because these are v3 they're not shared so you can park next to the person you can park next to somebody and it won't affect their charge if that makes sense so i'm going to see if it works there's a model x so hope so well he's definitely got a that's a raven i think so he will just have bought the adapter and not have had to have the CCS, CCS upgrade like I've had. Right, let's try it out. So I didn't actually ask if there's a correct order to this. Do I plug this into that and then this into the car? But I'm going to do it in a way that seems to make most sense to me. I'm going to just plug that in there. Now that is a lot more compact than the Chatamo adapter, I can tell you that. I'm going to take this, so I've got this end, and I'm going to attach that onto there, and let's see what happens. Oh, red. That is not a good start. What have we got now? Red. Red. So it would appear that although I've had the CCS upgrade done, it may not have taken. Okay, let's try and take the whole thing out and connect it all as one unit. Okay, so I've connected it up like that. It's now on there. Let's try it this way. I'm going to press the button. So that actually where it opens the flap. Let's see what we've got now. I am not hopeful. Ah, hello. So it appears there is a way to do it and I was doing it incorrectly maybe. Or was it just unlucky? So that is flashing, which is actually a relief. Let's see if I can get it in. I've not got my selfie stick, that's why I'm so close. And I'm very sorry that I'm so close to you. Uh, it's green still, you can just see there. Uh, I am relieved because we haven't got enough charge to get home. So that's worked out okay. I mean, I would have found charge. There's about 10 destination charges here. I don't know if they're one or three phase, but we'd have got home somehow anyway. Let's have a look at the car, see what it's doing. Okay, so before I got back, before I, before I got back in the car, I got chatting to that chap there. A really, really lovely man. Uh, Model 3 owner, lives in a flat in London. And he said it's so easy to charge. He said um, where he lives, it's all the lamppost charging. He said there's just zero effort in charging his car. Because I'm always a bit like, if I, had, if I didn't have a drive, I perhaps wouldn't have an electric car. But he, he, he this guy, I don't want to film him because I've sort of got his permission really, but, um, or put him in focus. But he said it's really, really easy. What it did mean though, is I didn't get a chance to charge, check my charge rate before I got back in the car. So after five minutes of talking to him, I just nipped off and took a quick picture and I was down to 95 kilowatts at that stage. And I had a 20% charge before I started charging. So that it's actually really good, I think, because I think it would have gone right up above, say, 120, 130 before coming down again. Now, we're down to 64 kilowatts, uh, which is fine. I mean, these seem excellent, these chargers. Uh, we've got 20 minutes remaining before we are up to 80%. We can go any time, but I'll probably just go in a minute because it was just a test today. And I feel sorry, I've left my wife and the kids and the dog just wandering around uh, St. Neots, uh, or the edge of St. Neots, and um, yeah, I need to check they're okay, really. Next stop, Peterborough Services, just off the A1, where it joins the A605 in Peterborough. So, if you can see in the background there, there are some brand new Ionity 350 kilowatt. I mean, if Tesla have superchargers, these are super duper chargers. So, there's six of them here. If you drive a Tesla, which you probably do if you're watching this video, the spaces are really wide, but there's no bump stop, just posts here. So you have to be a bit careful. 
I've registered the app, which was fairly easy. Uh, I've added a payment method, which was quite difficult. It failed three times and then was then said it hadn't failed. So I should be able to just scan my app against the charger and it will start the charge. If this works, I'm gonna be impressed. I've not got enough charge to get home. There are two ecotricity chargers across the car park. I mean, I'm glad they're concreted in because they'd just be wandering around like a couple of dementia patients, I think. But if I get really stuck, I can try them. Right, so I film on my phone, so I won't be able to show you me using the app. But you've got a, a QR code there. I mean, it all looks really good here. Um, they certainly look better than any other charger I've seen, bar a Tesla charger. So it says, first of all, connect the car. Right, so we're in, and that is one heavy cable. I guess it's got to take 350 kilowatts. Uh, let's go back to the charger and see what it says. Uh, connection is okay, I don't know if you can read that. And then uh, start the charge. Mo mobility, what does that say? Check your mobility service provider or direct payment. Right, I think I'm going to have to, uh, let's, let's try direct payment actually, let's see if I can. Okay, that's not working. Right, I'm gonna try the app. Okay, interestingly, I'm trying, you can't really see this very well. Uh, so it says charging error, communication problem, make sure the car is turned off then retry now i did get in the car while it was starting let's try it again connected okay right i'm going to get back in the car so alas still nothing happening hmm. right i'm gonna to have to put the phone down really have a look at this and see if i can figure it out Okay, I'm now at another charger here, another one of the Arnity ones. Uh, excuse the poor mic, the mic's on the car, so I'm too scared to open the car in case it messes the charger. So what's happened now is I've try I'm trying another charger, I had a fraud alert, a fraud alert on my bank, which has cost me another 10 minutes. Um, and currently, I'm just looking at this. There we are, charging error communication problems make sure the car is turned off okay so i would like to take everything back about what i said about ecotricity so uh i'm now here at the ecotricities in under a minute i was charging i'm getting a solid 30 watts 30 kilowatts charging at the moment uh, and uh, this has enabled me to carry on my journey so if you work for ecotricity i'm sorry what about what i said earlier you will see that I'm holding my CCS adapter because I'm actually charging on Shadamo. I'm gonna try and come back here if I can and maybe call the helpline to see why that CCS charger wasn't working. I think the CCS charger probably is working. I think, I don't think it's something I'm doing. So we'll see, let's crack on. Right, so it's an hour or so later, uh, I've got the back, I'm back here again at these Onity chargers and I'm feeling lucky and I'm going to see if I can show you why I'm going to have to turn the camera around. The reason why I'm lucky, I'm feeling lucky, is because I was here before and also I tried that one. I'm, not, I'm now trying this one. So I've tried that one and that one. When I was parked here, I left my debit card on the back of the car thinking, I hope I don't drive off and leave that. And if you look down here, I've returned. There's my debit card. So this has filled my heart with joy unless someone's been spending a lot of money on it and has just put it back. <laughs> so I'm going to just quietly get on with this charger and I'll update you after I've called the helpline. Let's see how this goes. Right, so I'm feeling slightly less lucky now. So I called the hotline. That's shut because of coronavirus. And I don't know if you can see, it says charging error again. Please make sure the car is turned off. So I'm just gonna try that and see if that helps. Right, let's try this. So I'm going to go into settings, 
safety and security, and I'm going to power off the car. So this is this is something I've never had to do ever when charging. So let's power it off. I kind of feel like it won't charge now because it's powered off. But let's have a look. I must clean that screen. Right, so let's see what happens now. So I turn the car off. As soon as I open the door, the car turned on again. So that, that didn't really work. Hello. Hello. <laughs> let's see what's happening in the car. Right, so this is happening in the car, which is good. I like this. Uh, so interestingly, when I started the app off, it said it was only a 50 kilowatt charger, but it, I think it's a 350. Uh, we're getting 56 kilowatts now, so it's charging at about 180, oh, it's getting faster. So I have got a low state of charge, I'm at 13%. So let's see, see what happens. It's getting 59. Okay, I'm gonna wait and then update you in a moment. So what I did there was I ignored the instructions on the screen and I started the charge before plugging it into the car. So I had it in my hand and it said contact in the car and then I plugged it in, that's, hang on. Yeah, hello, NetWest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not gonna be able to make my mortgage payment this month. Yeah, I know. The, re the reason, yeah, I'm charging on an Ionity super duper charger. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I know other chargers are available and they're not 70p per kilo. Yeah, I know it's more expensive than petrol. Yeah. It's one of your approved reasons not to pay the mortgage. You understand the problems I've got myself in. Thank you very much. I'm even, you can't see me, but this is our food for the week. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel. Uh, and it is sometimes, it, like these videos, there's a lot of time and effort to make. So <laughs> we're at 104 kilowatts. So it seems to be flicking between 104 and 105 kilowatts. I can honestly say that you can now, without any effort, use your CCS adapter on Ionity super duper chargers. Disappointing the phone line was shut due to COVID. Other places aren't shut due to COVID. Uh, but you can WhatsApp them, they said, or you can send them an email. So um, if you're in a rush, I mean, that would uh, would not work well. Uh, now I've got it working, and now I kind of seem to have found the way to do it. Put your CCS adapter on, start the charge, and then plug it into the car. That's, what work, that's what's worked for me. The only thing that's worked for me is down three charges. I feel more confident about using these charges. So we've, I've added 12 kilowatts of... No, it's charging at... It's charging at 98 kilowatts. I've added 13 kilowatt hours. I think that's about a grand. Good afternoon. It's the next day. You can tell because I'm wearing a different T-shirt. Uh, but... Going back to yesterday's charging at the Ionity charger, I've got a few more things I want to say about the actual site and the chargers. I went back in the evening and I'll tell you why in a minute, um, but it looked like this. So I was really impressed with how well lit the site was, the chargers were. They'd also invested in some, some street lights as well. No normally or quite often, chargers can be in maybe a dark corner, a poorly lit corner of a car park. These were excellent. So if you're traveling alone or if you're a woman traveling on her own, I think you'd feel very comfortable at one of these Ionity chargers, if they're all like this. This is the first and only one I've used. That does come at premium though. So <laughs> I've just had my bill for my Ionity. They've charged me £16.70 for 24 kilowatt hours of electricity. So to put that into perspective, that £16.70 gave me 24 kilowatt hours of electricity. That would take my Model S around 70 miles. So £16.70 for 70 miles. 
Previous to the Tesla, I had a, a three litre six cylinder X5 diesel. The same amount of, the same 70 miles in that car would have cost me about the tenner. So, charging with the Ionity charger was about 70% more expensive than Dino Juice. I understand that they need to make money. I understand that electricity needs to perhaps edge up in price as fuel becomes uh, a thing of the past. But at this stage, for it to be 70% more expensive, I think is a little bit out of kilter. And by that I mean, if I charge at home, so I charge on the Octopus Go tariff, stroke Agile tariff, that's for another day. Uh, and I'm averaging 5p per kilowatt hour, not 70, I'm averaging 5p. So £16.70 for my Onity will take me 70, pound, 70 miles. The same £16.70 on my off-peak home charging will take me about 1,000 miles. So that's the difference in price. I mean, I kind of think 35p is a better place to be. And then yesterday, I said I was feeling lucky, didn't I? Well, that's not the case. So I hadn't realised that I had my card on the back of the car, on the opposite side of the charge port, uh, and the card fell off and I found it. I had my wallet on the car as well, in a different place. So <laughs> my wallet has got a magnetic money clip, so it kind of sort of sticks the car a bit. Uh, so I don't know where it came off. So that charge didn't cost me £16.70. The cost of a wallet, a new driving licence and some other bits and some cash. So that charge has probably cost me just under £100. But hey-ho, uh, <laughs> when this happened, I just put on the news. Because I like putting on the news because then you see people with real problems and it makes me feel better about mine. Not a lot better, but I felt better. The other thing I noticed, you'll see from this image, is I had five, four failed attempts on that charger, or I connected five times to it. Each time I connected to it, they held 67 pounds uh, off my available bank balance. So they kind of just put a hold on my, on my card for 67 pounds. So that was like well over 300 quid on hold by Ionity because these charges wouldn't start. Um, before I could get my £16.70 charge. Now, I fully expect these to just disappear, but what if that happened to me and I didn't have enough money in my account to actually cover those, those card holds? So would I have got to a point where I could finally get it to work, but I didn't have enough money in the bank to make the charge so my card would be declined? I mean, that's, that's a bit of a shame. I don't know the answer to that. If you know the answer, then please let me know. But it does seem odd to have those holds on over 300 pounds and, and, and that they can't instantly come up, come off. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to try two more charges today for the, in the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to go to an Instavolt, which I know and love, and I'm going to try uh, an, an, an Genie or Genie Point. So I, I, I have a love, I don't have a love-hate relationship with them. We hate each other. Every time I see a machine, if I walk past the machine, I think it's staring at me. So I, I've used Genie Point five times. I've had five phone calls to get the charge to work. So let's see how we get on today. I have got a secret weapon today, which is, thankfully some of my cards weren't in my wallet. They were on the found. <laughs> is my Octopus Energy kind of charge card. Will this work? We'll find out. Let's go. So first off, I'm here at local Bannatines in Peterborough. Uh, I feel sorry for the gyms at the moment because uh, the car park's normally rammed here and it's fairly empty. Anyway, the reason I'm here is they've got two InstaVolt chargers. There's my car, I've just had it washed. So they've got two InstaVolt chargers and you can have a coffee in the, uh, the Bannatines cafe as well. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going to follow the instructions. The first instruction on the machine is to connect plug to car. So let's do that. It's saying contactless device here. 
So this is, uh, I've got a contactless ring, which is really handy. It's authorizing it. Come on, come on, you can do it. Press start. Something's clicked and it's charging. Let's look inside. So we're off. So this is a 50 kilowatt charger. Uh, I've got, what have I got in the car? I've got 26% to start with. Uh, you can see that there. It's ramping up slowly. I'm not sure we're going to get much more than that. Right, so this charger sat consistently at 38 kilowatts. So pretty good. Not the fastest, but it is. this is a really old machine. So this is the only Instafault machine I've seen with a Chadamo connector on it as well. I, I don't think the new ones have Chadamo. I'm not sure. If you know more than me, let me know. So yeah, good. It's just top 40 kilowatts. So from a 50 kilowatt charger with this state of charge, I think 40 is okay. The most important thing is that it works and it's only 35p a kilowatt, which is a little more than some of the others, but there's no connection charge. Let's try Genie Point. We are at Genie Point, my arch enemy. Let's have a look. So I feel angry just approaching this charger. Uh, let's have a read. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Welcome, let's start there. Uh, I'm going to see what happens without ch plugging in first. So if we do start, stop. Uh, we want uh, CCS. Swipe the card against the screen. Now I'm going to. I've already tried the Octopus card, it didn't work. Just try the octopus card again. I, hey, authentication in progress. Failed. Oh my goodness. Right, last go, another card. Nothing. Right, so as suspected with this machine, it hasn't worked. So the CCS, I managed to get the actual machine working via the app, which actually wasn't working last time I used it, but the, it's the web app works. The actual app app they've got doesn't work. It's a terrible, terrible system. Um, so I'm gonna try, it's definitely not working on the CCS. I'm gonna try the Chadamo. Right, so here we are with the Chadamo adapter. It's working fine. So that's three fails with the CCS. Uh, instant with the Chadamo. So that's disappointing and well kind of good at the same time. So I was thinking about selling my Chadamo uh, or Kamado if you want to pronounce it properly but I'm not going to so I think it's good to have both. We've tried the Tesla charger, uh, the Ionity and the Instavolt all fine with the CCS adapter but this Genie point no go, but fine with the Chadamo. So 75% hit rate. I'd hope for them all to work, but I mean, this is a terrible machine. So maybe on another Genie point, it would work. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to hit the like button. I'll put some videos around me now and until next time, see you soon.